Do you think there'll be more updates after this Anvil update? Good question there, Anhel, because I don't know. It's inter- I think there will be. Mainly because of how this update was originally supposed to be titled Spartan Surplus. Because when you go on to the blogs that have been posted about Infinite, right? If we go back just a couple of like a month ago, right? When they first announced like all the different updates coming out. Uh, this update was originally supposed to be called Spartan Surplus, not Anvil. And it wasn't, we didn't know it was going to be called Anvil until that trailer went out, right? So during this blog, right, which just was like the blog that was like what came out uh, two months ago, you know, it was originally showcasing like the banished operation stuff and all those kind of things. We still haven't gotten Relic yet. That's, well, I don't know what's going on with that remake. It's eventually, I'm sure it's coming eventually, but I don't know where that is. But now we've seen all these different operations come in, right? When it comes to these armor show being showcased. But this Anvil operation was originally supposed to be titled Spartan Surplus. Like I've said earlier on stream that... <laughs> Titling it titling your operation Spartan surplus just feels like it's like a liquidation sale. Like everything must go. <laughs> uh, and also supposed to be a Mark IV themed armor pieces, but then end up kind of be more tied to Rakshasa, which I'm not sure if Mark Rakshasa is Mark IV. I don't know. But I just feel like that was kind of an interesting change right there, which just makes me feel like we're going to get another operation. And we'll probably know more about the future of Infinite, the future of operations once we get towards the end of July, right? Fourth of July week is this week when this event went live. So people are out of the office, people taking breaks and things like that. I'm sure we'll hear a little bit more about the future of operations and what's going to be happening the rest of this second half of this year. Once the young people come back from their vacations uh, during the 4th of July weekend, I would be kind of shocked to see if we get more full-sized operations throughout the rest of 2024. It depends on if Microsoft is willing to still fund the sustained team that's going on because right now uh, what just happened over at Microsoft is that the fiscal year just rolled over. Uh, their, their end of the year fiscal year is June 30th. That's like the end date. And then fiscal year 2025 just started over at Microsoft. And it depends if Microsoft's like, we're going to continue giving 343 budget to sustain Halo Infinite, or do they cut it off and kind of let Infinite kind of just wither away? And then once they announce the new cool Halo thing that they're currently working on right now, then they bring in you know, a whole new thing. I, I think the future of Halo Infinite is going to be revealed very soon. And we'll see what's going to happen after this, right? Because we didn't know these operations were coming until but towards the end of the previous operations blog, right? Because well, they announced everything through May, if I remember correctly. The Banished Honor operation ran from April 30th to June 4th. But we didn't know about the other operations coming with Infinite until Banished Honor was revealed. Then they revealed the next Tenrai and then Spartan Surplus, which then became the Anvil operation. So we're probably not going to know much about the future of operations with Infinite until the end, towards the end of this month, or when there's like a week or two left in the operation. That's when we'll know more about it. And I, I feel like it's 50 50 right now if Halo Infinite's going to be continue getting support. When it comes to like new operations and content and things like that. I have a feeling that maybe operations might kind of wrap up like at least like the past side of things and maybe just start kind of rehashing things that were in previous events and with like the exchange, right? Maybe future event operations will just be Spartan points that you can unlock by unlock and you can use those points to then get just items in the exchange. I can see that happening in the near term future, right? Within like next year or so, something like that. Kind of round it back to the initial question there by Anhel saying like, uh, do we think that we'll get some more updates on this for Halo Infinite moving forward, right? I think we still have a few more operations of the Red Belt, uh, but I don't, I just don't really see much happening with Halo in 2025. But again, it's one of those things I think if Halo is allowed to continue, so if 343 is allowed to continue, so given the similar type of support that we're getting right now with Infinite for the next few months, like next three months, then that's going, to, that's going to be the case for the next year, right? Until June of 2025. And maybe by that point, we'll get like an announcement of what the next Halo game is going to be, right? And then people will start looking forward to that. Don't don't know why they take one premium shop item from each Operation Pass and turn it into a Battle Pass. But I think that's kind of the transition I think 343 is looking to make when it comes to maybe dropping con like actual content being part of the Operation Passes and maybe just reverting to just, you know, weekly challenges and you earn Spartan points through that, right? And then you earn your weekly ultimate, you get like a little bonus Spartan points so you can spend it within the exchange. So I think this is kind of like a transitional period of going from Operation Passes to just like 
general grind that's kind of always happening to kind of like be like a like kind of like what uh splitgate did at the end of their life cycle right with like the infinite battle pass right if i remember correctly this is going to be the future of infinite in my opinion free for everyone because this is basically was when Blakegate announced that they were going to kind of just take it easy on the development of the game and work on something brand new, right? When they got all that new funding, the, the team was expanding, right? They're actually hiring people right now too over at uh, 1047 Games. And so I think this was kind of just like the way they can continue to keep like making some form of progression infinitely while also be able to keep players engaged to some capacity to kind of give so give people like that end of the stick to unlock things right within the game uh this trailer really doesn't show a whole lot i think it's just kind of showcasing a lot of the stuff that you can unlock uh, i can't remember exactly how this pass actually worked out i probably should actually look like there's probably a blog about it right so i think this is what 343 is looking to do when it comes to the future O oh, infinite as right, so it says that the new battle pass has everything you've come to expect from previous passes it has 100 plus items containing exclusive weapons and character scans name tags sprays banners drops and split coins however there's two very important differences every tier is free and it never ends after earning the standard 100 tiers you'll receive an item drop for every five battle pass tiers you complete after that as a thank you to all our players for supporting the game for entire you know kind of stuff so i think this is going to be kind of like what their version of this is going to be where basically you'll have more player choice in it so it sounds like you just kind of get like a random item every time you get what would be your fifth tier in the battle pass or i think what three four three is looking to do is give you spartan points for then you be so then you can be able to spend that within the exchange and that'd be kind of like the long-term sunsetting version of evidence progression that's where i'm thinking we're going for it when it comes to like the future of progression and halo infinite makes sense right like i said earlier there's an end date we don't know when it is or when or how it's going to happen we just know that it's it's there it's on the horizon we see the storm coming we just don't know how soon it's going to be here and one thing you have to take in consideration is the population of halo infinite since they've gone with operations right if we Look at the Steam charts here. Obviously, the Steam charts is not the entire population, but it will show you the trend. I'll show you the Xbox numbers as well. But you can see here around January when operations were first announced, right? And then you can see the steady decline of the player population. Now we're like peaking right around two to three thousand players on average. Peak player counts around six, seven thousand on like a really good day. But generally, average player count Steam for just the Steam players alone. It's been dwindling slowly over time. Now on Xbox most played right here, you can see that it has hit Halo Infinite as well when it comes to population. Currently sitting right above 35th and most played games on the Xbox platform. Before the announcements of operations, we would oftentimes see Halo Infinite up in the 20s, sometimes even up into the 15 range when it comes to most played games on Xbox. Doing pretty well for itself, honestly, given the situation. But ever since January's rolled around and we had those operations now, people have definitely have seen to fall off and lost interest. So this is mean that will we see continued support for Halo Infinite? Because uh, clearly these operations are not really doing what they need to do to keep people engaged with Halo Infinite. Obviously, there's not going to be a main draw to these operations where it's going to be like people are going to be coming back to the game so they can play multi-team or they can play even like this new mode that came in called Century Defense, which actually is a lot of fun, but it's not going to be anything to ignite the general player base to jump in to play Halo. 